Yeah, it's true. It's time for the kayak trip. So uh, let's get going, guys. <laughs> Denmark. Yeah, so uh, we are now on the way to the start destination for this kayak expedition. Um, I don't know yet if it will be a one-nighter or a two-nighter. We will see when we get to the destination. So um, yeah, let's go, man. Wow, I feel good. Love it, man! <sighs> we are here. Nice weather today. A little windy. It's uh, and it's also been changing a little between rain and sunshine. But uh, for right now, it's still it's still dry. So a little wind, but uh, it's okay. So uh, right now, I am in a Swedish lake. And the kayak here, my sea kayak, uh, it's a plastic sea kayak, but I will give you a better introduction to the kayak once I get to uh, some spot where I'm gonna set up camp. And then I'm also gonna show you some new gear that I brought with me today, so uh, stay tuned guys. Look at this man. Imagine living there. Oh, that is so nice. And for those of you who haven't considered, or maybe those of you who are considering but haven't pulled the trigger yet on getting a kayak, get a kayak. It really, really expands your possibilities for outdoor life. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful, man. It's just... Yeah, man, it's just amazing. I love kayaking. And it takes you places where you normally wouldn't be able to go, islands and stuff like this. So if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on one, get one. Is this nice or is this just nice? Stunning, absolutely beautiful. This is an island right here. It looks like it's a very nice island, but I, I think I will continue further up this lake. Uh, I've been going three kilometers now, so uh, I will definitely be doing some more kayaking before I go to shore at some island where I will put up either the Hilleberg or my hammock. We will see, the island kind of dictates what I'm gonna sleep in, so uh, let's just get on it, man. Okay, guys, so I just found this island right here. There's also an island over there, but uh, yeah, I've been checking out some different islands here. Uh, some of them have these signs on that they are, at this period of time, bird protection islands, so uh, I cannot go on board on these islands, but this island is actually kind of nice. Look at this. For those of you who love shelters. And take a look at this, as I told you in my previous video about why I don't uh, prefer Denmark, my own country, as my primary source of adventures. I talked about this uh, Elementsraten, this the right for everyone. It's right there, man. Everything. Very, very nice. We should so much have this in Denmark. Yeah, we don't. But uh, I'm, I think, wow, this is a nice place. Well, I think I'm going to check this island out if there is a even better spot than this right here. Because I prefer to have my hammock or my tent pitched up in the direction of northwest. And this is north. So uh, I think I'll try to go 
up there and find out if there is a higher ground and a better spot to pitch whatever because I like the view of the sunset so that is why I prefer northwest because here in these parts the sun will set in northwest so uh, that is the reason what the there's goddamn toilets on this island I still prefer my log though my own log toilet kind of nice look at this view that would be nice but what a shame it doesn't seem that there is any place here where I can put up either my tent or my hammock what a shame would have been a pretty nice view and before I head over to the other island over there there you see the sea kayak I'm using it is a perception Carolina 14 great great sea kayak I love it man it's really a nice kayak and it has loads of storage room loads of storage room and it has a pretty nice wide seat opening so it's never hard to get inside the kayak even in pretty crappy conditions like if I have to go on land here and I had to enter the kayak from over there it is possible with a kayak like this because it, it has this very wide opening right there where you have the seat so that is just nice man okay guys so I was just over at the other island it looked pretty okay but I will still try to see if I can find an even better spot because I still have time for it yet before the sun sets so why not all right guys and girls I think we found a spot right here as you can see it is near the beach here on this little beautiful island right here um, there's already a fire pit there so it can't get any more perfect than that I think I will put up my hammock here between these two trees right here because there is no chance in hell that I'm ever gonna find a flat spot on this island I just took a walk around the island here it's an okay size but uh, definitely no flat ground so yeah I said the island dictates the sleeping system so today it will be the hammock up here between these two trees so I will have this view for the sunset that I doubt I will be able to see because now it is too cloudy and uh, yeah I hope you can hear me as it's kind of windy I have a wind muff on but uh, yeah I, I'm not sure how much that helps but uh, we will find out I guess this is a truly great kayak man uh, you know it has a decent sized hatch up here and there's a lot of storage room in the hole right here and also back here we have a great big hatch right there also plenty of storage room and I even have the opportunity to store some stuff behind my seat also because I am using a spray hood so it doesn't get wet down here anyways these are super nice so I can set my knees under them if I go out in heavy winds and as you might also notice I have a rudder on it too so a uh, great great kayak I really recommend this for expedition trips this is great let's set up camp so I can get some dinner and it will be a nice dinner today I'm telling you and by the way guys this is a new pair of hiking pants these are excellent pants I would definitely say that these are my favorite hiking pants as of this moment I'm gonna tell you a little more about them later but uh, great great hiking pants but now I'm gonna set up camp we're gonna take the Amok! So now that the hammock's up, we're gonna use the sin mat. Long, wide. Nine long, wide. Okay guys, so now that we have the hammock up here and the tarp is set up, well, I usually only put up the rear part of the tarp the front part I just leave hanging right there and that's because yeah just to enjoy the view man 
and then in the evening before I go to bed or if it starts to rain I'll just flip over the front part also. As I told you earlier I also had a new piece of gear with me today and that it's not the hiking pants. Now ah uh, it's this one. Yeah look at this. Look at the size of it. And as you guys know I am definitely not an ultralight hiker or even an ultralight kayaker. Normally I don't care at all about the weight. Well, okay, to a certain degree of course, but uh, I don't look so much at the numbers about weight and stuff like this. I just use the gear that I like. But this one, this is a Sea to Summit Spark 3. This packs much smaller. I would say around half the size of my mountain equipment glacier expedition, my big heavy expedition bag. And if you haven't already seen the review I did on that bag, I'm gonna put a link in the description. That is by far my favorite sleeping bag. I've used it all the year around, four seasons, and you know, in the summer, of course, it's a really, really warm a down sleeping bag. But if you open it, it's just like, yeah, what's it called, uh, a quilt, you know. It's just like a quilt, so it's great for sleeping four seasons. I loved it, but um, this one, it's brand spanking new, but I actually got this for free. And uh, I got it on a gift card from someone who got a gift card, but didn't want to use the gift card and asked me if I wanted to use it. So I figured, what the heck, man, this was on sale. So the gift card matched the price of this one. So there was nothing I really needed. So I was thinking maybe I should get a smaller sleeping bag also for when I'm doing my enduro adventures on motorcycle. Because in that case, it of course is about packing down rather small. So that's actually the reason I bought this. But today I'm gonna test it because, yeah, I, I saw they said it would be two degrees plus degrees Celsius. Yeah, I can't remember the Fahrenheit guys, but uh, look it up if you want. But two degrees in the nighttime. And this is supposed to go down to comfort temperature, minus eight degrees for men and minus two degrees for women. And you know, I'm always freezing, man. So I usually just go for the woman number. So minus two, that would be great. So if it's plus two today, this is supposed to keep me warm. I did, however, bring a liner also, just in case and long underwear, but normally I don't sleep in long underwear. I just sleep in boxers, man. I just, you know, I love the the home feel of just sleeping in my boxers. So that's why I love my very, very warm mountain equipment bag. So yeah, let's try out this one today. The Sea to Summit Spark 3. And for the record, I will be making a complete review on this Sea to Summit Spark 3 sleeping bag. But for now, just a short introduction. It is 655 grams so pretty light packs down pretty small also as you see right here and it is ultra dry down 850 plus loft so great down this in the sleeping bag so i'm excited to see what this sleeping bag can do for me compared to my absolute all-time favorite the mountain equipment glacier expedition but uh, yeah let's get this baby out that packs down pretty small Put the bag in the bag. Yeah, so as you see right here, it has this really thin outer layer because you can see the down through the fabric. I guess that's just for saving the weight, but it, it feels very plush, very nice actually. And as you see here, it says minus two degrees comfort and minus eight degrees lower limit. And that's what they claim also is for men and minus 26 degrees extreme never gonna happen never man never i slept in minus 27 degrees or something in my mountain equipment glacier expedition and it worked the charm but this one no oh i would definitely not bring that but of course it also says extreme temperature and as we all know that just means you're probably gonna survive <laughs>
But as you see here, the uh, mock is now set up with the new C2 Summit Spark 3 sleeping bag and also, as you've seen in some of my other videos, this pillow right here, which is a, it's actually a pillow I bought in Barcelona at a sports shop and it's, yo, I mean, it's it's been my favorite pillow ever since. Um, but now I've also brought this one, which is just a four class pillow. I, I also just bought this in a German sports shop when I was there by coincidence. And it's an inflatable pillow, but it also has this, yeah, this material inside, like, you know, it's like fibers or something. So it's very, very soft. So I'm a luxury animal today. I have two pillows with me. And also a set, the new Gold Zero Lighthouse Micro. Looking forward to trying that. Power bank over here, candy up there, and whoops, and also here I have my long underwear and chips and a cocoon liner, just in case it should be cold. So um, and now I just started a fire here, and right over here at my new couch, my food is getting prepped in a minute. But as you see here, I just started a little fire and put up the chair and of course one very important thing also on a trip like this where you can just yeah be witness to a great sunset in a minute beer danish beer let me prep the food here because today we are gonna get some nice food because today i'm gonna have steaks Woo, baby yeah Okay guys, so welcome to the chef's table right here. We are gonna make some food right now. Sorry for the noise. So first, we're gonna take a piece of aluminum foil. And here we have some, I can't remember what you call it in English, but here in Denmark, we call it, directly translated, we call it spring onions. And of course, garlic, carrots, that's not for the food here, that's just for snacks. And we have some steaks right here, I'm gonna put them there for now. Spices, this is pepper mix. Potatoes. And some olive, no, that's not the olive oil, that's sugar. Here we have the olive oil. And we also have some coffee down here, but that's not for the food either. We have some chili mix and some salt. And we are gonna take the Hulsa Force knife right here. And then we're just gonna slice some potatoes. So yeah, just a lot of slices like this, this side right here. <clears throat> as many as you can eat. And I seriously can't remember what these are called. Put it in the comments, guys. But some of these, yeah. Whew, I just love food, man. I really do. Ah, yeah, a lot of garlic. Can't get enough garlic. Fold up the edges a little so if it is on uneven ground so the oil doesn't go everywhere. Lots of oil for it to cook in. Nice. Fold this up fairly nice and even. So, it will look a little something like this, a flat pancake here. And then you're gonna take one more layer of eagle of aloe foil. So, 
So a nice and even pack of food. It's coming guys. Why do I always do this? The sunset is coming. Yeah. Great. Oh yeah. Steaks and beer. And after that, candy and chips. And Coca-Cola. I'm a healthy mother f Maybe not, but uh, does it get any better? I hide it out it. And there's even water to my other side also, so not a particular big item this, but that's cool, man. Oof. I, I so much look forward to eating those steaks. As I said, food monster. Woo, yeah, buddy. So the steaks are almost ready. So I'm just waiting here. My potatoes are definitely done. And here. Yeah. I use a cozy little portable radio. That is nice, man. This is life. So let's see the potatoes here. If I was right, if they're ready. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Let me taste this. I should be in master shift, that's for sure. And now we're gonna have steaks a la rock. Is this nice? Or is this nice? Woo! Perfect. Hawk Ramsey, man. Hawk Ramsey. So now I turn down the music and that gives me the opportunity to tell you about these pants and what's so cool about these pants is that they just they fit so nicely man what a nice set of pants man I like these better than I like my Felgeon and even my Miltech uh, Chimera the camo pants I definitely like these better those are, these are my favorite pants for sure it's just so cool that they are windproof and waterproof I've looked a long time for a couple of hiking pants for a normal price that are waterproof also and these are actually priced very well so I didn't even know the brand Pinewood but I seriously love these pants I you know I'm thinking about buying you know a whole stock of them just so I have them I love them that much super cool this area right here it's absolutely amazing stunning I've been here before Actually, I think I've been here like five or six times. I've never been on this island though. This is a new one. It's a very big lake with a lot of islands here. So, And I can't even begin to describe, guys, how much I've looked forward to go to Sweden again. But it's been impossible because of all these corona travel restrictions. But now, right now, the rules are that you have to show a negative corona test if you enter Sweden from Denmark, then you have to show a negative corona test that is maximum 48 hours old. So I went and took a test today and then I traveled here, no problems. And then when I have to get back to Denmark, I don't have to show anything because I'm a Danish citizen. So I'm always allowed to go into the country, but I have to stay in isolation at my house for 10 days. Or I can go take a PCP, no, not not a PCP, a PCR test, which is another uh, test for Corona. I can take that after four days from returning home, four days. And if that's negative, I only need those four days that I've been there in isolation. So regardless, I just went to Sweden. I don't give a sh if I have to stay home for 10 days. Fine. As long as I'm allowed to go on expeditions, I'm happy. And by the way, I still love this knife, this Hulte Force. Wow! I put a lot of chili on these potatoes. Woo! If I'm gonna get diarrhea or something, 
Jesus Christ, man, I'm in a hammock today. No way. You know, I tried that a long time ago. I was out hammocking on an island. And I ran out of toilet paper with diarrhea. That was kind of shitty. Sorry. That wasn't even on purpose. Listen to this, man. Where's my... Oh, there's my other steak. I just thought it disappeared, man. I almost got crazy there for a minute. I just got done eating, so now I am gonna clean up after myself here, and then I'm gonna head up in the... I'm on! Okay, only some of us remember that song. I'm sure the rest of you think I'm genuinely crazy. And I am. No, no, no. I almost forgot my coffee, man. Can't forget the coffee. So, before bed, I'm gonna make some coffee here, and then I'm gonna jump into bed. I should have had my chocolate banana also. I really love my chocolate banana, as you know, if you saw my last video. But I... It's a hard thing for me to say, but I forgot my chocolate bananas in the car. Dang it! I'm really looking forward to try this new sleeping bag, the Sea to Summit Spark 3. As said earlier, I'm gonna definitely gonna make a review about the sleeping bag. But I have to use it for some time before I can even make a review on it. That's at least my opinion. I know a lot of people make reviews on stuff they literally just got in their mailbox. But I'm not one of them. I want to use my stuff first before I make a review of them. Or else, how would I even know what it's like? So, yeah, that's the plan, man. That's the plan, man. Okay, guys, so I am now in the hammock. The hammock! Yeah. Um, this little lamp right here, this Gold Zero Lighthouse, Lighthouse Micro, it's actually pretty smart. It also has a flashlight on top of it. Uh, kind of hard to see for you now, but right now it's the top that acts as a flashlight. And then you can also turn it on so it lights in both sides of this tube here. Or press again and it dims a little. But you can also hold in your finger on the button. Yeah, it's dimmable. That's very nice. That's actually very nice. I kind of like that. Wait, let me get some more light again here. Oh, I think we're gonna dim this a little. Like that. So yeah, I said I am now in the hammock in the new sleeping bag, which I actually, right now, it's, uh, it's pretty comfortable. And it's pretty okay temperature-wise right now. Oh, stop swinging. And uh, for now, I'm just going to lie here and uh, watch some movies. And after that, I'm probably going to listen to some podcasts. Uh, the clock is now 13 minutes past 10 in the evening. So I'm definitely going to watch a movie. And then I'm probably going to fall asleep listening to some podcasts. And yeah, because I am a luxury hiker. I am a luxury adventurer. So I brought my iPad. Not the big one, not the I have the iPad Pro. I actually bring that sometimes when I'm when I know I'm going in the tent because it's just it's a nice man. It's a, my own movie theater. But today I brought a smaller iPad and I'm going to hang it up here in the ridge line. I'm going to get back to you and show you what I mean. I'm in the movie theaters because now I got my iPad up there. Yeah, gotta love it, man. If I don't fall asleep, I'll get back to you later. <laughs>